hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Where we left off, we had a pretty chill Saturday and now we're going to be chilling with KK Slider. This is going to be the last song we get before the new year. It's crazy dude. Oh, and I, my eyes are watering because of course they are. I kind of lost track of time because I was so focused on uh, Last of Us. <laughs> I just got really into the game. So, yeah. Anyway, for now, we're going to have a look-see with KK Slider. You know it. Yep. And I believe it's called... I think it's KKK... Uh, I almost said a third K. Whoops. <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> pretty sure. It was KK Techno Pop. Uh, let me check this real quick. Let's see, was it KK Techno Pop? Let me go look at the wiki. Yep, it's KK Techno Pop. Far out, get ready to jam, man. KK Techno Pop style. Not gonna lie, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I'm sure the air check sounds way better, but my god, that that live that was easily the worst live performance we've had. Hopefully, the air check sounds a lot better.
Yeah, that sounds a lot better. My god. <laughs> okay, well. Let's get to fishing, I guess. So tomorrow's New Year's Eve. We obviously gotta do stuff with that. Hang on, there's a snowball over here. Oh god, how am I gonna get this out? Oh no. Well, there was nothing I could do about that. That was the worst possible spot it could be in. Anyway, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. And obviously I gotta be there for the countdown, but what are your what are you guys having as a New Year's resolution? Like, what are you guys planning to do different for New Year's? Because for me, I'm planning on working on my diet. And I also want to try beating all the classic Sonic games that I own, like the Genesis games. Because even though I grew up with them, I've never really played them that much, let alone beat them. So I want to try to beat them all next year. And are you guys also using fireworks? I know some people don't, especially since like if they have dogs they probably won't because fireworks can scare them. Not Lexi though, Lexi doesn't care. It's just vacuums, blow dryers, and people making those sounds that scare her. No joke. When my when she was on the bed with my stepfather, he, he straight up made blow dryer sounds and she took off running. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Uh like I I felt bad. Because I think it's funny. But, uh, yeah. I almost freaked out there because I thought I scared off the screen fish, but no. That was just a big fish. But yeah. Won't be long before... I eventually get to Wild World. I'm gonna have to repair something big for the final parts of this series. We also almost have all of KK Slider's songs, I'm pretty sure. I think there was only about 40 ish? I don't know actually. That wasn't it. I almost thought it was, but no, it's bigger than that. But yeah, like... We pretty much have almost everything I wanted done. I still want to get all the events done, as well as... Kicking Slider's music. I'm also gonna get a song specifically to uh, have play at the bungalow on the island to make it fit that aesthetic more so it's not entirely a awkwardly silent little place. I'll just need to see what songs would fit it best. Maybe Aloha KK. That's what I'm thinking of getting Aloha KK there. Because that really fits it. I don't know. It's still something to think about. 
that's probably what I'll go with. Judging by all the songs I've heard. I've never actually listened to them all. I've only listened to a few that I've really enjoyed. Like, I think uh, there's one in New Leaf called KK Jangara, and that just goes so hard. <laughs> it feels like Animal Crossing's answer to Night of Nights from Tohu, pretty much. And hearing villagers actually sing to it and New Horizons is so cool. That's one thing I love about New Horizons is that your villagers actually do more things than just walk around and stuff and talk to people. I almost thought that was it, bro. Come on. But yeah, like... Villagers, like, while they can't really do a whole lot in this game, they are just carried by their dialogue. They can just be so funny at times. And sure, New Horizons can be funny, but... They quickly repeat themselves. Like, and I don't think they can go through any sort of emotions other than being happy. <laughs> or, well, no, no, hap they can't even have happiness as an emotion. They're just neutral the whole time, kind of static. At least from my experience, they've been that way. I've never seen anyone get into fights. I've never seen anyone like like get sad, angry, whatever. Do they get upset if you trap them in a pitfall? Because I know in Dubutsu no Mori E+, that can actually happen. Where they'll either be angry or sad if you have them fall into the pitfall trap. Meanwhile, in this game, they just don't care. Their dialogue is still funny, though. But yeah, like... Even though New Horizons does have some downsides, I still think it's really good, and it basically saved a lot of people from going insane during quarantine. <laughs> like, my god, the timing of that game couldn't have been any better with what everyone was going through back then. And sure, we still gotta worry about COVID every so often, but... Aside from that, like, it was, like, that was, it came out around the time COVID was, like, beginning to become a real problem. Like, and that was the, I think that was the worst variant of COVID that was out at the time, too. Since it had, I think it had the most casualties. And fortunately, no, no one in my family got that version. We just got the later ones, which were nowhere near as severe, but they still sucked. <laughs> like, I wouldn't wish COVID on my worst enemy, just from how bad I felt, like, the whole time. I've never had an illness that just made me feel like actual garbage. Like, I just felt so... Tired, nauseous, and just, well, not nauseous, just a little delirious. And I just did not want to move anywhere, <laughs> you know? It sucked. And now, instead of COVID, my entire family has the flu. Except me, because I somehow did not get any symptoms. And because of that, I was the only person capable of getting a flu shot. So, 
I feel kind of bad. Because everyone else in my house got the flu. And I don't know how I didn't get it. But I'm not going to complain. Flu sucks. <laughs> I feel like I probably didn't get it because I was sick a while ago and I figured it was probably either a cold or a flu but either way my body was able to eventually adapt to that and my immune system had some defensive measures because that's just how our body works like once you recover from a sickness it'll prevent you from being sick from it again for a while so I think that's what happened to me is that my immune system is still under that like effect to help me be immune to that sort of thing so that's how I didn't get any symptoms which is cool but yeah back to wild world and stuff in <laughs> new horizons for that matter I do like that villagers actually do other stuff, like, you'll see them sit down at the, like, sit under a tree, look out at the ocean, they can actually fish and stuff now, water your plants for you, and, uh, they'll play with the furniture and music and stuff, like I said. It's a lot of cool stuff that actually makes them feel like alive, you know? Like they do things, and I like that. But at this point, Nintendo's done with New Horizons. They're more than likely going to give us another Animal Crossing for like the next console. And I'm definitely grabbing that as soon as I can, because I love this series. Like, it's my childhood, which is the reason why I wanted to start with this game. Because it was one of the first that I played as a kid. And because of that, I've grown very attached to it. Like, to the series as a whole. I remember, like... Trying to get up early and stuff to go check out Tom Nook's stuff and talk with my friends before going to school. And then when I get back home from school, I would just go back on Animal Crossing to see how everyone's doing. Especially, like, if I didn't have any homework, because what I would do is that I would actually do my homework while on the car ride home. Like, you see, I'm smart, <laughs> you know? I actually try to get it done while I'm getting home, or at least get some progress in. And yeah, like I always looked forward to playing this, and it's gonna be a little sad knowing that I will more than likely not come back to this when the Let's Play's over. So it's basically like saying goodbye to an old friend. But this series will always be up on the channel. We'll always be able to look back on it. Even though there's literally like days of footage. But like I know you guys love this. Too. People straight up went to the beginning of this series while it was still pretty far into it like in the mid 200s and I'm like Jesus you are dedicated <laughs> like I understand wanting to see like how it starts but you're really gonna watch the whole thing it's kind of crazy I wouldn't do that <laughs> you know I would just want to see, like, any sort of highlights that were worth checking out, like, like, for example, the island minigame or Crazy Red and stuff, you know?
Ah, but I digress. Looks like we're not getting the string fish tonight. But that's okay. I'm going to do a couple more checks. And if we don't get it, then oh well. Let's see. I'll do like five for each. So this is three. Four. And final one. I'll just catch whatever it is. I kind of wish I didn't. Get out of here. And what's the last one? Drink fish, please? Of course not. Are you just going to be another pond smelt? I swear to god, if you're another pond smelt, I'm going to be very unhappy. Nope, it's a bitterling. That's much better. Alright, well, I'll hold on to him. Actually, you know what? No. Tomorrow's the raffle. I'm gonna sell this little guy. But yeah, we do have our final raffle of the year. I can't sell him. I'm gonna have to... Put him down somewhere at the house. Just chill in the basement for a while or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just stay right here. You'll be sold in January. Don't worry. Alright, anyway. We're gonna go up. get all these tickets. We got one final raffle starting tomorrow for the end of 2023. Will we actually get something? Maybe. I feel good about our odds. For now, let's call it a part. Next time on Animal Crossing, we will be back tomorrow on New Year's Eve. So with that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I'll see you guys then.